Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and we are gonna make old Rusty a friend. So say hey once you hop on, and we're gonna try to do up a different uh, finish tonight on our Rusty Pumpkins. So hopefully um, it's gonna turn out because I don't know if it is or not because I've never tried it. So I kind of practiced a little bit today. Hey Heather, hey Nancy. How are y'all tonight? Y'all have a good week? Okay, so I saw some of y'all made um, made your own little Rusty and, um, and they are just awesome. They Y'all have just blown me away. Y'all made like a whole little family and it's just, um, it's just unbelievable to see something that I've done and then see somebody do it and they take a spin on it and it's just amazing. Hey Susanna, hey Amy, hey everybody. Okay, so this was the one we did Monday night with our funnel and our little container from the Dollar Tree and made it look all metal. And um, if you didn't see it, you can go back and watch the video um, that I did Monday night and you can see old Rusty and how we made him look um, galvanized with paint because it's just plastic. So it looks really cool. So, um, hey Lynn, hey Kimberly, thank you Nancy. <clears throat> okay, so I promise y'all that we were gonna do copper. And here's my, here's the other funnel that goes with that set that I got from the, you know, goes with this one. And had I had thought ahead, I probably would have used the big one on this container and then the smaller, the next size on this container. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna dress it up, make it look cute. So it's gonna be fine. Hey, Tracy. Okay, so what we're going to do, well, I'm going to show you what I did first. Because, you know, this was clear. It was clear from the Dollar Tree. And then I just took this Rust-Oleum hammered copper paint. I got it from Home Depot. And it's got like a, it's just not smooth um, copper. It's like a, it says hammered. So it comes out looking like it's all bumpy. So it was really cool. So, see how the top, I'm trying not, I, I got my light turned down a little bit, so hopefully y'all can see without this glaring in your face, because it is shiny, but see how it looks all bump, bumpy on the top, and on the funnel, it looks the same way. See how it looks? Okay, so it was plastic, and I spray painted. Hey, Dana. Thank you, Debbie, for sprinkling. Okay, so this is just a container from the Dollar Tree. That's all it is, <clears throat> and I spray painted it. Hey, Janet from New Jersey. All right, guys. So, um, I'm gonna try, try <laughs> to make this look like uh, rusty patina. Um, I mean, rusty patina, patina copper. You know how you see the little pennies? Hey, Mandy, the little pe like pennies you see and they had that blue finish on them where they've oxidized. That's what I'm gonna try to do to this because that's what copper looks like. It doesn't rust, it just gets that that real pretty aqua turquoisey looking patina is what it's called. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do this. I practiced on it a little bit today. I didn't use the spray paint. I used, um, <clears throat> I painted a piece of wood and it's over there and I can't reach it. Um, this is Craft Smart from Michaels. Um, this is, they have this paint is uh, at Michaels in some metallic paint. And I painted a piece of wood and I attempted my, try to get my colors right on my um, patina. So I practiced a little bit today. So we're gonna see if that's gonna work. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so there's, the, I used that on my wood, but that's not what we're using tonight. I use spray paint on this, okay? Hey, Cindy, welcome if you're new. Okay, so I'm not gonna start off by putting the blue on first. We're gonna start off by um, giving it a little bit of um, a darker kind of, I'm gonna sponge on some darker kind of spots on it to make it look old because it looks all shiny and coppery right now. Um, so anyway, so I'm just putting out some, this is called Rush Red. I used it the other night too by Anita's. And something I found out about, about Anita's paint today, let me find it. Rust-Oleum actually makes the Anita's paint, which I saw that on the bottle today and I was like, hmm, I didn't know that. But I get it at Hobby Lobby. It's probably one of their cheaper paints, but I love their paint. This is um, Deco Art. It's Burnt Umber. That's my go-to is the Burnt Umber. <clears throat> I just grabbed it and didn't grab the Anita's. So I'm just gonna put some Burnt Umber in that rust color and I'm just gonna kind of mix it together 
and get us this darker reddish brown kind of age looking and I'm just going to kind of go over my copper with it. Hey Michelle! So I'm just just kind of it's almost like a brick red and I think I'm going to add a little more brown. Yeah welcome if you're new. Um, I'm doing part two of a project we did the other night. This was a project we did Monday night and we're making him a friend. So that's what I'm doing. So welcome if you're new. Okay, I think I got it about like I wanted. I might as well just go ahead and get me a wad of paper towels up here because I'm probably gonna need it. And I got on my breast cancer awareness shirt because it's October, it's breast cancer awareness. So if you haven't had your mammogram this year, you need to go get one. <laughs> I, um, I went, you know, I'm an x-ray tech, I've told y'all that. I'm also certified to do mammograms. Um, so I'm a big believer in it. My my mother's mother, my grandmother, she died of breast cancer back in the 70s. So if you need your mammogram, this is your reminder to go get your mammogram. So <clears throat> that was just a little perfect public service announcement. <laughs> hey, so anyway, so I'm just taking these little makeup sponges I get from Dollar Tree and I'm just getting a little bit of paint, kind of dabbing some of it off. Let me move so y'all can see. And so I'm just gonna kind of, I'm actually gonna put up some more brown because it looks really red on here. And I'm just going to pick up some of the brown and some of that color too and get it on my little sponge. And I'm just going to kind of go in different places and just wipe some of it on because I want it to kind of look old. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel and I'm just going to kind of, and I'm kind of halfway winging this guys. So we're, I'm just hoping that it turns out like I want it to turn out because um, like I said, I practiced on a little bitty piece of wood today and um, it turned out it turned out pretty good so we're gonna see so I'm just so see how it's making it it's kind of giving it this older I know that's bright and y'all can't see but I'm just um, giving it just a little bit of um, maybe if I drag it just a little bit of toning down that shiny copper so I'm just, now I'm just going to kind of drag it and see what happens. <clears throat> so this is kind of a, sort of kind of an experiment to see if I can get it to look like patinaed copper. Because it's a pretty color that it turns, that green, um, it's turquoisey color. So I've been, I've been trying to research it a little bit and see how to do it. And I've looked on Pinterest and Got some different ideas. Hey, Colin. What's the container? Um, Barbie, it is a just a container from the Dollar Tree. It's, they, have a, they have the smaller one and they have this bigger one. And I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum's uh, hammered copper. <clears throat> and we're going to try to make... Um, hopefully, I don't get it all over my shirt. I know that's what y'all are probably thinking. Lord, she's going to get it on her shirt. Um, try to make it look patinaed copper is what we're going to do so he can have him a friend. But this is a pretty color. Um, I do have some rose gold spray paint and it's really pretty too. I'm like, I'm like this spray paint. Um, you can see it when it's on its side. Okay, good. I, like I said, I turned my light down some so it wouldn't look so glared but I didn't want it to be so dim that you couldn't see what's going on. So I'm just trying to knock some of that shine down. Let me get some more paper towels. So I hope y'all had a good week. Hey, Minnie from Florida. I hope y'all had a really good week. Thank you for sprinkling, Sandra. And I'm not gonna do worry too much about the back just for time purposes, because y'all are on here watching. There's no sense in us doing the back. Plus, I gotta have something to hold on to. <laughs> so, I don't wanna totally um, paint the back. Let me go ahead and get this side. And I'm just dipping in that red kind of color, and then blotting some off, and then getting in my burnt umber, because it that red, that rust red, kind of made it a little too red. But it's all gonna blend in. So, we'll be okay. I'm just gonna kinda do what I feel like I need to do to it. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. So y'all can learn through me tonight and then do something different if mine doesn't work out. 
But um, I got two different faces picked out. Of course, I got to have a different face than I did um, the other night. So, so it'll be different. That top really turned out cool, how it looks all hammered looking. I don't know what they put in the paint to make it look like that. Where did you say you bought the container? Dollar Tree, Carmen. I bought it at Dollar Tree. They have um, a big one and a small one. This is the big one. Um, and then I, I got the it's a set of funnels they have. This is the big funnel. And then this is the small funnel. Like I said, if I had known I was going to do two, I would have got... I would have used the big one for this one and then the small one, but you know, it doesn't matter. So I went back and tried to find some more funnels and they didn't have any funnels. So I guess everybody ran out and bought funnels. <laughs> no, I don't know. <clears throat> to try these out. It's Dollar Tree now is where the is the containers came from. Dollar Tree. So it was just a dollar. And we said you could do this and hide your, your uh, Halloween candy in it and your kids are not going to know the wiser. Okay. So I got that. I'm going to let this sit over here and I'm going to turn on my little fan and so it can dry. Found mine there tonight and had to go to two stores. I know, don't you hate that? It's like, you know, one of them you're like, oh, I found this. And then you had to go to another one and find something else. Um... <laughs> I hope I don't end up with it all over this bright pink shirt, and I'm hoping I'm not blinding y'all with my bright pink shirt. So we're gonna do the same thing to the funnel. Just gonna kinda tone it down a little. Cause we want it to look like it's been old and weathered out in the elements, not shiny brand new. So we're gonna see, Harbor Freight has a coupon for a 79 cent set of five, five. Oh, that's good to know. I should have went to Harbor Freight. I looked at Dollar General too, cause I went back in there to see what else Christmas they had put out. And um, they didn't have any funnels. So at, not, at least at mine, they didn't. That pink's a great color on me. Oh, thank you. I like your name, Lee Holman. <laughs> that's how I spell mine. All right, so we're just smearing it on. So see how it's kind of making it look a little distressed and old, not so shiny bright. Shiny bright's good, but not for what we're going to do. So let's see. Hopefully this will dry pretty crass. And this is just regular acrylic craft paint. So... <clears throat> And I'm going to go ahead, and the other night, some of y'all had hopped off, and I had made my, made the little tag that's on my little Rusty. So, while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and, um, my tag I made from a cookie sheet from Dollar Tree. I just cut it out, and there's a piece hanging off. Uh, I just cut out the shape of a tag. Nothing special. I didn't even, I just eyeballed it and cut it. It's not even straight. <laughs> and I'm going to take my hole punch, and I'm just going to punch a hole in it. And I'm going to go ahead and just, um, it's not copper, but I'm just going to kind of paint it with the paint that I got on my plate and let that be drying while we're working on our pumpkin. Whoop, see how it bent? <laughs> I just bent my tack. <laughs> Your tip for those silicone brushes. Oh, yes, yeah, there's a little silicone things. I looked for mine the other day and I can't, I don't know where I poked it. I poked it somewhere. That's awesome. So anyway, I'm just going to paint my little tag. This is why I got my brown craft paper on my table so I can just kind of lay something down and I don't get it on my tablecloth. And my dogs are going to act crazy outside my door, I guess. Okay, so there's my little tag. Just kind of made it look rusty. So I gotta stand it up somewhere and lean it up. Okay, throw that away. So maybe my canister's dry. Thank you, Shannon, for sprinkling. I hope y'all had a good week. I've had a good week. I had to go to the dentist today and have my teeth cleaned. And Lord, I'm not a wimp when it comes to the dentist, but I don't know if that <laughs> if she was fresh out of school or what. But my teeth, my gums are sore where she's scraping, how they scrape with that pick. And they're having to do everything manual because they can't do 
what they normally do because it goes into the air or something. I don't know. Pink is my color, Carol. Thank you. It's my breast cancer shirt. <laughs> it's actually a shirt from my work, my old job. So I had put it on because I thought, well, that'd be appropriate. All right, so we got our brown. Now, this is the part I'm nervous about, guys, because I'm, I'm hoping this turns out like I want it to. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, so y'all know Anita's, this is like my favorite color in the whole world. Everything behind me that you see is that's turquoise is with this color. This is called Light Turquoise by Anita's. And it comes from Hobby Lobby. It's like 79 cents a bottle. It's like one of their cheapest ones. And actually, Rust-Oleum makes this paint. And I was just like, I saw it on the bottle today and I went, hmm, I did not know that. I didn't know they made craft paint. And they actually make um, uh, model paint. Y'all know what the, my brother, when we were kids, he would get those model um, cars and stuff and you, they plastic and you have to pop them out of all the little parts and then, um, um, then you put them, snap them all together and glue it together and you paint them with those little bottles of paint called te Testors or something. Um, they make that too. And I didn't know that today. I got on their website and they didn't, I didn't know that. Okay. So I just put a little paint out on my plate. Light turquoise. It's my favorite. Half of everything in this room is painted that color. And then this is a funky green and it's called Wasabi. That's from Anita's and Hobby Lobby. But you can use what you have. Just use any lime green. It's just got a funky color to it. Hey, Deborah, thank you for the stars. Okay, so I put a little bit. And like I said, I tried this today, and it looked, um, you don't drink coffee, Cheryl? It's okay. Go to Dollar Tree and get you a container from the Dollar Tree. That's what it is. That's what this is. I got my she shed. Oh, Janice, I'm jealous. Okay, so I got a little bit of that. So see how turquoise that is and then how green. So we're going to make this um, this pretty green turquoise color, patina color. And I did it today, and it turned out fabulous because I just started having a science experiment in here. Hey, Deidre. And um, I started mixing up paint and stuff and trying to find the perfect color of patina. And um, I think I, I hit the nail on the head with these two colors. So I gotta add a little more turquoise because I got a lot of green. Obviously it doesn't take a lot of green. Cause today I just made a little bitty patch of it. Okay. So I'm putting some more blue. That wasabi kind of strong <laughs> wasabi is strong though isn't it i like mixing colors too dora i love mixing the colors so don't think you got to go out and buy all 50 shades of whatever because um you don't because you can mix your colors and make other colors so so i wanted to do it with uh craft paint so that y'all could replicate what i'm doing hey lindy I, um, Alexis from Purposeful Indulgence, you know, she uses Sher Sherwin-Williams paint on everything, and so she said, oh, they have a color called Parisian Patina, and I was this close to go to Sherwin-Williams and getting some, and I said, no, I'm going to try to do it with my craft paint so that, um, everybody else can do the same thing and not have to go Sherwin-Williams. So now we have this pretty blue-green color. So it looks really pretty, okay? So now here's the scary part. <laughs> I'm scared it's not gonna turn out, but let me just go ahead and get me a paper towels. Thank you for the stars, Elizabeth. Okay, so here is my paper towels. Cause we're gonna do like wax on, wax off, like Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. <laughs> now everybody's gonna be going wax on, wax off. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna try to do. Um, so I'm just gonna, my old chip brush, See, my, see how old he is? He's all rusty. He matches my can. I'm just going to put a little bit in here and then tap some off. Okay. So here we go. Here goes nothing. So I'm just going to kind of, 
and it's really green. I really wanted it more turquoise. I'm gonna let that sit just a minute. I'm gonna put some more blue out here, and that one's about out. And let that dry a second. So if you let it dry a second, it'll stay on there um, a little bit longer, a little better when you go to, to wipe it off. Okay, so now it looks like that. And that's what copper looks like when it ages. It doesn't age like in certain spots. It kind of ages all over and streaky and splotchy looking. Um, so that's, I'm trying to do it with this brush. And I put a little bit more turquoise in it to give it a little bit better. So I'm just gonna kind of dry brush it on there. A little heavier in some places. You can just kind of get it all in there. And then I'm going to let it set a second. I'm just going to continue going down my canister. Might as well get up here too. And we'll have a whole roll of paper towels. Did I research? Yes. Sandy, I did actually. So this was like a whole science experiment. If it doesn't roll and hit my shirt. Um, I had colors mixing colors today and everything in here dollar tree plastic jug that's what this is all right so i'm just dry paper towel i tried a baby wipe and it took too much off earlier today okay so i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like so see how it looks you can still see the copper through there but look how it looks right here in those in those crevices that is just like really cool it looks just like weathered copper it does to me anyway <laughs> but um you can also do this you can do it with the makeup sponges too let's try it with that see what that looks like kind of like that better And I'll let it set just a minute. Because if it dries a little bit, then you're not going to be able to wipe it off as good. So it's probably better to let it, um, your Bobo is still healing. Yeah, it's just like a red spot now. I blame that on Colin because he called me in the middle of the live and I was um, reached over to grab the phone, turn the phone off of him calling. And I laid my arm down in some very, very, very hot glue. It'll probably be a scar. So I'm just wiping some off. See how the copper still shines through? That is so cool. So we went from this to this. And if you get a little too much on there, just wipe it off a little sooner than, um, than you know, get it to your liking. But it dries pretty fast because we are doing very thin, thin, thin. Just barely any on my brush. Kind of little coats here and I'm actually going to take it and smear this out so this is going to be a, a funky jack-o-lantern <laughs> so see it's getting some off but not a whole whole lot because we're just kind of dry doing it dry but you can do it as light or as heavy as you want to do it. Um, I do, of course, I like this color, so. And you probably, you probably could um, take a baby wipe and wipe off what you didn't want because the spray paint's not going to come off. In fact, let's just try that and see what happens. gonna see what happens because the spray paint the copper won't come off so see it's just taking off that I'm getting all happy with it now I gotta get down in this lid right here my baby wipe there it is 
So that, that's actually making it look pretty good. It's kind of um, smoothing out those strokes a little better. See how it looks? Isn't that pretty? It looks like a, a patina penny. I need to get right here though. Take too much off, put some back on. So that's, did I go all the way around? Almost. Just gonna go to the handles because I gotta hold on to it. And that's what we got so far. Doesn't that look cool? See how you can still see the copper. Isn't that pretty? Is the lid glued down? No, I didn't glue, the, I, I didn't glue it down. Because I might want to hide some candy or something in it for my kids. So anyway, see how pretty, isn't that just gorgeous? And that's, if you look up copper patina, that's exactly what it looks like. Because believe me, I've looked at enough pictures today to, to know. I was doing homework, guys. So I didn't want to tell y'all something or teach y'all something and do it wrong. I wanted it to look real, like rusty. Okay. okay, so I think I'm done with it. Now we gotta do the funnel. Okay, so that's what we got with the brown, brown paint on it. Just kinda dab some of that brown and that rust color on it. I think I'm gonna do the sponge. I may not do as much on here. I might just kind of hit the high parts. Okay. And I'm going to wipe it off. Dries quick. Well, I got this fan over here blowing too, so. Um, so I'm just going over it with the baby wipe now. Put some silver in it. Hmm, might look good too. Just dab the brush, okay. Like that. Baby wipe kind of helps. But today I just took it completely off. I was like, oh no, I can't do that. I gotta get down in that little crack. So look how pretty that looks. And it looks totally different to me than it, when I see it on the camera, it looks like baby blue, but I promise it doesn't look like that. It looks green. You see how it looks? It looks pretty cool. So this is easy, y'all can do this, I know it. But I saw some in the group, some pumpkins that y'all done and I was just impressed. So it looks so good. It just looks too daggum real. What kind of container? It is from the Dollar Tree. Just so it's just, a, it was clear. And it had a white lid. Had a white lid. And then we did this one Monday night. So this one was the one we're doing tonight. We're doing copper and I spray painted copper. I'm gonna stop by on my way to the young. Oh, okay, Dana, come see me, girl. Come see me, you'll come right through here. I'm right off the interstate. <laughs> Look at my hands. <laughs> I'm copper patinaed. So it dries pretty fast. I'm gonna turn off my fan now so y'all can hear me. Um, thank you for sprinkling. Okay, so see, I didn't do mine all the way around because I gotta hold it, but I'll probably finish it later. And I didn't worry about the top so much because I'm gonna attach this to it. So look how cool that's gonna look. So that's gonna be like the front. My, my funnel has a little bump right there on that little thing, but we're gonna fix it because I'm gonna glue that bad boy down. And I still see, I guess it looks okay. When I look at it in the camera, I see this right here and it's kind of bright. You have one of these containers? Well, there you go, Joyce. And somebody the other night said, oh, I'm going to empty out my Folgers coffee can and I'm gonna put, um, um, take my coffee out and I'm washing it right now. <laughs> oh, you keep beads in yours? That's a good idea. Okay, 
So now, look at how much paint I got left, y'all. I got tons of paint that I have wasted. So now we're gonna do our face, and I showed y'all my little, um, my cheat method, and I'm trying to decide what face I wanna do. So I think I'm gonna do this face. So remember I told y'all it has this line right down the center, this little seam, and so that's, that's a good guide to be able to um, know where you're putting your, the center of your mouth and the eyes and all that stuff. So I just found a, a, a um, face, uh, I just Googled faces, you know, jack-o'-lantern faces, and I, t I literally took it on my phone and blew it up on my phone and laid the paper over it and traced it with a pencil, and then I cut out the center. So I would have, let's see, how do I want his mouth? I would have, you know, the perfect shape because if I tried to draw it on here, it wouldn't, <laughs> it'd be a hot mess. So, um, I'm going to get my Sharpie. Oh, this is going to look so good. I think I'm going to like this one better than I do Rusty. I guess we're going to name this one Patina. All right. So, I'm just tracing it out with my Sharpie. And this draws a lot better on here than it did on that one the other night. I guess because I had that chalk paint. And it was wanting to get all in my my Sharpie tip and it wouldn't draw. Okay. So I got my, my face. Now throw that away. I'm going to put some eyes up here. So I hope y'all are going to try this one to go along with your Rusties that y'all did. And I was thinking if this if this one's going to be a girl, then um, we might need to name Rusty something Rustina. <laughs> I don't know. Make sure I got them even. Okay. See his nose. It's kind of, I just kind of went with a traditional face. I didn't do anything. Um, I didn't. Hey, Yvonne. All right, so I just kind of went with a traditional face. Look how good that's gonna look once I get it um, painted. I gotta have my plate back. I gotta have some black. I'm gonna paint a face. Rusty and Rosie, there you go. Rusty and Rosie. Yeah, Rosie's gonna be kind of rosy because she's um, um, copper. Okay, so I'm just gonna paint on the face really quick. That Sharpie helps because it's already black, so just kind of gives me a guideline. I'm going out of the lines a little bit, but it's okay. I can fix it with the paint. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put these in my house. I might make a, I might have to make some baby ones. She's going to need a pink bow if it's patina. We're going to make her some kind of bow of some kind. I know I don't do bows, but I got uh, raffia bows. Rosy and Rusty. Sounds good to me. I saw somebody today, somewhere, do something similar to this with their Tide Pod container. Do y'all use those Tide Pods? Makes me want to use them just because I want the container. Yes, it would look cute with some hay bales. It would. You could probably seal this, seal both of them with some clear spray paint, and they would probably be okay out, out in the weather. I don't know how the sun would do, but they would probably be okay if you sealed them. So you could put them out on your front porch, and they would probably be okay. Covered. But if you're going to put them outside, outside, then you probably need to seal them a little bit. So just get you some clear coat at Walmart and just seal them on up. What kind of copper spray paint? I just got Rosoleum hammered. You know, I I went in Home Depot to get some wood and I looked in there and they didn't have a whole lot to choose from because they looked like they needed to restock the shelves. Um, and um, 
I just grabbed the copper that I saw and it happened to be Rust-Oleum. But um, I know Walmart has some. I just happened to be in Home Depot and I needed it. So I just grabbed, it was like 383 or something like that, a can. Not bad. And I'll probably use it on something else. Which I've already got something in mind that I'm gonna use with that copper. Cause there's all kinds of stuff you could paint that color this time of the year, especially. It's a good fall color. Okay. This looks so good. I'm so happy how this is turning out. I'm just kind of going back over it. Okay. Ta-da! And I want to leave it dark like that because it's going to look like they're cut out and they're open. And you, I guess you could take an X-Acto knife and you could cut out holes in there and you could drop um, those little lights in there and they would make it light up and you could do that too. That would be so stinking cute. So now I'm going to try to attempt to marry these two together. Let's see the best way to do this. And hopefully not melt my lid because this one sits on the lid. And when we did Rusty, his goes over the lid. So we're going to see if this is going to hold it. Make sure my little hole's out there. Isn't it cute? It just, it looks like old copper, does it not? Yeah, rust oleum has a clear matte finish. You use it a lot. Okay, Ginger, good. I knew that you could get clear, but I'm sure you can get it matte or glossy or whatever um, you want to do. But look how right here, it looks like it's just running down. It looks kind of cool. Why are you not painting the backside? Um, just, just for time purposes, because we're on here live and I have to I have to have a place to hold on to it, so I've been holding on to it right here. But I, I will go back and probably paint the backside. Just so y'all can sit here and, um, Yvonne, I used, it's a Dollar Tree container. It's a clear container. See, it was clear, and it has these handles. They're back there where all the food containers are at the Dollar Tree. And, um, it was clear, and it had a white lid. And these are the funnels from Dollar Tree. And this is our... We made this Monday night, and this one that we're doing tonight. So, I, I told everybody, you know, we, we talked about it, and everybody said, oh, it would be look cute in copper. So, um, so I did the, I wanted to do the copper patina look. I think it looks so good. So, now I need to add something to it. We've got to figure that out, and i got to get rid of this paint before I put my arm in it. Because I'll put my arm in it. Um... Yeah, I mean, you could, Ginger, you could do this technique on anything and make it look like old copper. You could do a bucket, get those plastic buckets from Walmart. I mean, the, the, and Dollar Tree, those containers, and they have, uh, even the Halloween, um, the Halloween buckets. You could do the exact same thing to it. Spray paint it, you know, make it look galvanized. You could do that totally easy with any, anything plastic. Um, but it looks just like old copper metal. It looks so cool. Okay, so now I got my little tag that we're gonna hang off. I don't know what hers is gonna say because that one says trick or treat. And I don't know if we should put smell my feet <laughs> on there. Something frilly, Leanne says. Something frilly, okay. So let me see what I got. I, of course y'all know I got these. These are my little cheat bows from Nashville Wraps. They're already raffia and they're already, <laughs> they're already done. That's just my style because <laughs> I like, um, just, I like I'm already done because I'm not a bow girl. I can't, I'm just, I can't make bows. But I've got, I've got all this out here from the other night that I had and we never used any of it. So I didn't know if I need to, I got stuff like this, but that may be too much and I don't want to take away from, you know, I don't want to take away from, you know, the thing or if we want to do, um, just some burlap or some kind of something. Lace, ribbon. Yeah, wasabi from Anita's. That's wasabi. And this is light turquoise, my favorite, favorite color. Everything you behind me, you see this turquoise is painted with this color. Um, it's, from Hobby, it's from Hobby Lobby. It's probably the cheapest paint they have there. But it's um, light turquoise and wasabi. Y'all can remember wasabi, right? 
turquoise in the middle of a raffia bow. Okay, and I got real raffia over here. And I have, um, you know, I had to get everything out for a lie. But I got all kinds of stuff over here. I got flowers. I've got leaves. I've got um, all kinds of stuff. So I didn't know what I should do to her. You got your catalog yesterday? Yes, Gail. It's, they got some pretty stuff. But the paper raffia is what I use in those big rolls that I've shown you. It's called paper raffia. And it's like $2.99 and you get enough to last you a lifetime. I've got pip berries. So I thought, I didn't know if it would look cool if we did some. So maybe some pip berries, like a little, like it was growing on there. Um, I got leaves. So I didn't know if maybe we could like put some leaves on there. Maybe something like that to make it look old. Hold on. Let me get it around here like that. Let me get the leaves around here. Something like that. What do y'all think? Buffalo check ribbon. Put some of that lace around the top for her hair. That this stuff that I have. That. That's raveling. I got a whole roll of this stuff at Hobby Lobby on the clearance section for like 75 cents. And of course, y'all know I hadn't used it on anything. So, like that. <laughs> that looks hilarious. Doesn't that look funny? What catalog? Rita, it's a place called Nashville Wraps. Um, I get my raffia from there because it comes on a roll and it's not this wild... It's not that kind of raffia like this that, that's all a hot mess that gives me anxiety. Um, it's, um, it, it comes on a roll and it's paper raffia and I can handle it better. That stuff that comes in that little wad from, from Dollar Tree, it gives me anxiety because <laughs> it's just so wild and I can't tame the raffia. Scarecrow look. So, you know, we did this the other night. So, let me let y'all remember what he looks like. He's got his little, um, his, I did the same bow up here and I cut, we cut the loops and made it just kind of wild looking. Okay. Looks like a scarecrow. So if somebody said, I like the leaves. I like the black and white. This, I love the Harlequin too. It's pretty. See, I don't know. I don't know if I should make a big bow with some rags. Hey, I got to get, um, petunia. <laughs> So I had torn all this originally because I was gonna tie something around the funnel and let it hang off like a big bow, but I don't know. That fringe looks like a hippie. It does, it, you know what it reminds me of? Y'all seen Dumb and Dumber, right? With Jim Carrey, you know how he had his hair like cut straight across? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Let me get it straight, hold on. <laughs> Hey, Kathy. Okay. So, I don't know. I got buffalo check fabric. I got all kinds of stuff out here. So, I just really don't know what to do to it. I don't know if I should do like a refab bow. Yes, they have controlled raffia on a spool. Do that. So, do like a, uh, like a little bow and put up here. No bow. Use the berries and the leaves. I'm thinking that too, Carrie. I'm kind of thinking, I don't know. I kind of want it to look old and rustic like it's out in the field somewhere. So I'm going to take this pumpkin off. I think this one came from Walmart. I've already pulled some stuff off it. See, it's got like a leaf on there. It's got all kinds of stuff. Do a reef out. I may do a reef out. And then you like the fringe. Raffia and leaves. If I, I just made like a little loop like this. And I can I can take it off. I'm just kind of temporary looking at it. And I'm scratching off some of the paint on the back with that wire. I get it to lay down. That kind of looks cute, don't it? Kind of turn it to the side. Okay, yeah, so the berries kind of match rusty, so see. That kind of looks cute, don't it? A sunflower. Oh, I don't have it. I have everything out here but a sunflower. I did not even grab a sunflower. But I have little orange flowers like this. 
have those flowers. Somebody told me what these were called. Bittersweet. And look, y'all told me the other night what it was called. And it's right straight there on the tag. That's what I get for looking, right? And I have these pip berries too. It's all getting wadded up. So I could put, let's see. I could put some of these on there. That, I like that, the way that yellow looks with this kind of green. Make her look like a girl, somebody said. Let's see. Lift eye. I don't know how they wire, wire all this stuff up, but it's a hot mess. I don't know where my wire cutters are. Oh, I never got them out, that's why. Let's see. What if we kind of did, let me hook it back here. Put a refab bow on the other side. And get this to stay just while we're looking at it like that I just got it kind of setting on there and then do um let's see I'm trying to find the end of this stuff there it is this is from the Dollar Tree too it's just pit berries on like a little um some little wired stuff so thinking that we could just like maybe like vines growing on it or something. Let's see. Let me turn it. It's hard to do it from the back. <laughs> so they're not even glued on. They're just kind of sitting here. Let me see what I'm doing. Can't tell what I'm doing on the camera. Maybe if I go this way. I'm just hooking it on this little piece here and just kind of going around just kind of temporarily putting them on there I don't want to stay okay sorry guys I'm fighting with the pit berries oh that one just don't want to be tamed Will the vines be in the way to unscrew the list to get the kids? The kids ain't getting the candy out. I'm going to get the candy out. <laughs> no. Let's see. <laughs> Who said that? Okay. Y'all, that, I'm, I'm throwing this in. I'm just throwing it in the floor. I ain't fooling with that stuff. <laughs> Give her a collar with a ruffle. Like, at the bottom? All right. We're trying it all. I think just the leaves. Me too. But we're just for just for giggles, we're gonna do it. I had to pick up them pit berries later. They're over there. <laughs> I just got mad through them down. I'm like, I'm not fooling with that. Like that? I don't know if I like that or not. Raffia now with a few flowers, just the leaves and berries with the raffia boat. See, I'm thinking too. I'm thinking it needs to match him. And leave that off. Yes, a canister from the Dollar Tree. And I just literally looped that around and made it with that wire and just stuck it on there. <laughs> That's all I did. Nothing fancy. A hair bow. So, like, I'm gonna, I think I'll put it right here. I can add some stuff to it. See, these bows from Natural Routes have a little, they already have a little uh, twisty tie thing in them like this so it's like really awesome for people like me and alexis that have the raffia rage it's already done it's just perfect you just pull it out of the package and tie that thing on there and collar done because <laughs> that stuff gives me anxiety and pe i see people work with it and i'm just like mm -mm. i don't i'm not the raffia charmer i can't i just can't do it okay all right, so there's that. Looks like it's flying in the wind. So look how cute that is. And so what if we do this? Let me see. Just trying to figure something to go in the middle. That may be too much. These little, these little 
pips keep coming off my pip berry. <laughs> eyelashes. Should I put some eyelashes on there? Take off the clump of berries. Okay. See what that looks like. See, it's all just kind of on here. I'm not even glued anything down. Take this off. Let's see. You know, they kind of glue it all together. Trying to see if I have any leaves out here that's just leaves. So the berries are too much, y'all think? Oh my gracious, they just won't, don't want it to come apart. Well, Lord, tearing the whole thing up now. Yes, Judy, it is so much easier. Amen, amen, and amen. See, look, I scratched off my paint when I was messing with it, with this wire. But we'll cover it up. Try not to scratch anymore. Because it is just plastic. You could always rough it up with some sandpaper. And uh, now, look, these pit berries, nope. <laughs> I can't deal with them. They're just about as bad as the raffia. All right, where's my bow now? <laughs> Does that look better? Hang on, I gotta fix it. So no berries. I don't see how hairdressers do that in the mirror because I can't. Mm -mm. Like I said, nothing's glued down, so I'm just kind of. That looks cute. That look better. Better without the berries, without the big. The big wad of, maybe if I just put a little bit of berries on there and cut some off. Right, let's see. Yeah, simple. He's got, so he's got berries on him. So I think she needs some on her. But what am I going to write on the tag, guys? Smell my feet. No berries, berries, no berries. I'm going to put berries because he's got berries. And eyelashes. Okay. Woo! Burn myself. Look, her leaves are flying high. Um, I was gonna do something else and I can't remember. Oh, eyelashes. Where's my plate? Let's do this. Eyelashes. Bittersweet. Okay, I'm going to put some bittersweet on there. See, I think I should do her some eyelashes like this out to the side. I'm just having fun with it, guys. It's just to have fun. Like this. See, she's got little eyelashes. <laughs> look how pretty that finish looks. Does it look just like copper? It looks so cute. Tag. Hey, sugar. <laughs> and I don't know if I can get my paint pen to work tonight. I, I stored it down just like y'all told me to. Um, so we're going to see if it's going to work. And my tag is Lord knows somewhere under all this hot mess. Look how cute that is. <laughs> look, at, look at them together. Doesn't <laughs> that look cute? Now I want to make about four more. <laughs> okay. All right, so what's the tag going to say? Candy. Because uh, his says trick or treat. She's beautiful. <laughs> you know, so funny. Pumpkin spice. That's what we can call her, pumpkin spice. Y'all, this I'm telling you, this paint pan, mm -mm. I'd be better off doing it with a paintbrush. I stored it down like y'all told me to since the other night. I got you sweets. And I'm holding it down trying to get... It's not doing... Oh, there it goes. Oh, here we go. Maybe. These things never work for me. I guess I need to get a better brand. This is just a Walmart. Hey, pumpkin. Happy fall. Okay. And of course, y'all know it gets the, 
takes the acrylic paint right off of that tag and I'm trying to write on it. This pen. I may have to finish it later because it's not wanting to. Y'all, I shook it and paint literally just shot out of it. I'll just dip it in here and I don't know why it's not wanting to act right. Everybody said theirs did that too. Probably make some to decorate our, that'll look cute. And then the kids can't tear them up either. So they're just plastic. I'm just dipping the end of this paint pen in this little puddle I made when I shook it and it shot out everywhere. <laughs> I'm having trouble with pit berries tonight. I'm having trouble with paint pens, raffia. Let's see. All right. Break out them five below brush. I know Nancy, I'm going to. And of course this has to dry, but I put hay pumpkin. It has to dry a little bit longer, but I nailed the patina. I know, I think I did too. I think it looks awesome. I think it looks really good. So it's gotta dry. And you know, I know I'm gonna set my arm down in that. I had that white paint pen on my arm. I went to work the next day and had it on my arm, uh, Tuesday, no. Tuesday, what day was it? Yeah, Tuesday, I guess. Okay. So I think this, I think that's all that needs. And see, they're just stuck on there. They aren't even glued down. So I can take this off if I want to and worry about, you know, do it later. I was going to put something else on there. Oh, I know what it was. Somebody said put a couple of flowers up there because she's a girl. So let's just do that. I wonder if these little balls come off. Yep, they do. The little balls come off when you take the petals off. <laughs> So I think I'll glue a couple up here on the bow because she's a girl. And I'll glue that little red ball right there. Looky there, looky there. I just pulled them straight off and they're just like little petals now. And then I'm just gluing the ball back on there. I don't know why I set that down. And I hope y'all make one because I can't wait to see what all y'all do to it. It's going to be so cute. Okay. Now, see, I added some on the bow. See? I just added two little bittersweets up there. And y'all told me that's what they were called. She needs blush. She needs blush? Really? I don't know if I want to put blush. Well, I filled in, Tammy, um, the other day. I filled in for some... Um, at where I used to work. A little something something, Nancy. So I filled in a couple of days for them. And so um, I went to work and I had white that I even, I mean, I took a bath, but you know, it's oil paint. So it just, it was on my arm from where I set my arm down in it the other night. It stayed on there. Okay, stop. Isn't that cute? They're just so stinking adorable. Adorable. So I'm gonna show y'all what I did in case you're just hopping on. It's a plastic container from Dollar Tree. And I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum hammered copper. But like I said, if you wanted to use just craft paint, this stuff right here from Michaels, this stuff is the bomb. It's, um, it just says copper and it's their metallic just paint. And uh, cause I used it on a piece of wood today and this stuff is awesome. I used it on a craft one night, we did something else. And then um, I took a wasabi from Anita's, but you could use any kind of weird lime, bright lime green. And then this is light turquoise from Anita's at Hobby Lobby, made by Rust-Oleum. I'm using all Rust-Oleum tonight, isn't that weird? And so I mix these two, little bit of green, a lot of this, cause the green is real overpowering. But I put brown, I kind of sponged on some um, burnt umber and the red rust a little bit to kind of make it knock down the shine. And then I went over it with that blue color, um, your shirt on the tag. 
Uh oh. Did I get my shard on the tag? <laughs> I probably did. No, we still look good. So I'm about to tack to tie it on when it dries. So um I hope y'all try this because I, I really had fun with it. And I can't say that I'm not gonna um paint some other stuff uh patina, copper patina. Now that I know how to do it and kind of got it um down to an art, I gotta finish the back of them too. If I can get it through that hole. I purposely left the hole out so I can hang the tag. So I'm just taking some jute. What did I paint the boy with? Um, I spray painted him with silver spray paint, but that's not necessarily, you don't have to do that. You could paint it with, um, with gray chalk paint. I saw some people in my group that just did it with gray paint and it looked just as good. So don't think you gotta have the silver spray paint. See her tag is kind of contrasting. Isn't that cute? Um, so he, I spray painted him silver with silver spray paint. And then I just took variants of gray, like uh, elephant, steel, but you could use acrylic paint. You don't have to use chalk paint. And then I just kind of took one, the dark color, like a darker gray, and just kind of just went all over it with my little chip brush. Just kind of pounced all over it with barely any on my brush and just pounced all over it with the dark gray. And then I went with a next shade of gray that's lighter and did the same thing. I did a little bit of white and then I just did some hints of black. And then I took um, like burnt umber and some uh, dark rusty red color. It's called rust red actually. And I mixed them together and made, um, made the rust, made it look like rust. And then I painted on his face. What's, what are the colors of red? It's called Rust Red by Anita's. I love Anita's paint. It's a Hobby Lobby. You don't have to use that because I'm sure they have these colors. But you could put a little bit of red in your burnt umber and it'll probably give it that rusty red color. But um, I mix um, burnt umber and this color together. But, you know, don't think you got to go have all the colors of, of red. <laughs> or a brown or whatever. Um, but anyway, that's how I did that. And that's how we made it look. And see it, see it's still silver on the top and on the back. <laughs> but you can hide your candy in there from your kids and um, don't uh, let them get your candy. And his hat's not glued on. See, hers is on this side and I'll put his on this side. They're tags. That kind of makes them a little, a little extra to have the tags. Look at my fingers are all different colors. But anyway, and I can't say that I'm gonna make a little one because I have one more funnel. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna make him look like. A mix of the two, half copper and half stay, uh, half galvanized um, metal. <laughs> it's so funny. I can just make them a whole bunch. It's just fun. It's fun to make it look really authentic. My stepson went in there, I said, go in there and. Cause my picture taken, I've moved my picture taken out into our dining room. And I said, go in there and hand me that pumpkin with the funnel on top. Hand me that pumpkin and will you bring it here? And <laughs> he said, he looked at it and he was like, and he picked it up. <laughs> he said he liked to throw it over his shoulder because it was, it was so light. He was expecting it to be heavy. So, oh, brass. Oh, Lynette, I could do brass. What is brass? Does it turn? It, it turns like a dark brown on it. A baby. Yeah, I need a baby. Gold. And do like, um, put a pacifier in his mouth. Kathy, you're hilarious. That would be hilarious. A rusty pacifier. I can make it all brown and rusty looking. That would be so funny. Brown. Oh, brass. Do they, does it, um, it does kind of like copper, doesn't it? It turns that green or does it turn dark brown? I'll have to research it and see. I'll have to see. I don't know. Somebody tell me. You're funny, Kathy. Oh, goodness. Now I gotta clean up this hot mess and go wash my hands. It turns green. Gold does not tarnish. Okay, silver t turns that like dark, pewtery looking color. Rusty orange. Oh, I did wanna show y'all this. I found this at Walmart. So this would be an alternative for you if you didn't want to do the plastic. 
they had these at Walmart. It was $2.97. And um, let's see. And they, um, it already has the holes and stuff in it. Brass turns green. That's what I thought. So um, you could do the same thing to this. You could paint it, you know, the gray or the silver and then make this look galvanized instead of this bright orange. They had another one with bats on it. And I can't remember, a ha maybe a haunted house or something. But I got the pumpkin one because I thought, well, this would be my go-to if I'm, if this one doesn't work out. But let's see, he's square. So, isn't that cute? My Walmart has some cute Halloween stuff, y'all. Y'all saw the pictures. Those little gnomes, oh my gosh. They were so cute. And I didn't even, um, I think I didn't take a picture of all of them. They had one that had some other white and black, um, like hound's tooth little hats and stuff and of course you know i got the mount i got some gnomes because i can use those at christmas brass oh brown it does brown brass does not green up as much as copper does i know i love the copper so i hope y'all try this this is pretty cool and then people will come to your house and go how did you do that it's just plastic how did you do that Bra brass is blackish green or blue does it turn green, but it turns, burns brownish. Okay, because I know you got to polish brass with Brasso. <laughs> and then silver, I know it turns kind of like a that dark bra uh, black color. Big, big rusty bells at Dollar General. Yes, I saw those big bells. And then Dollar, Tr Dollar Tree has the white ones and the red glittery and the green glittery, I think. Hey, Deborah, thank you for sprinkling. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to jump off, and y'all's minds are going to reel in. And I did see the big bucket at Dollar General of all the cheese balls. Do y'all know how tempted I was to get that barrel of cheese balls that's this big and, like, this big and paint it like one of these? I was so close to buying that thing of cheese balls because then you could have a granddaddy, <laughs> a granddaddy pumpkin that would just be massive because he's, I mean, those things are that big. And like Sam's has those pretzels and they come in the big container and stuff. Um, mm -mm. So if you got Tide Pods, use your Tide Pod container. That would look cool too because it's already that funny round color. But I don't use the Tide Pods. I just use regular detergent liquid. Um, <laughs> Lynette, you're forcing me to go back and get the cheese balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they would get eaten by the, all these boys in my house, but um, I saw one at Walmart today and thought of me. You thought of me when you saw the big cheese ball container. <laughs> it's funny. It looks like a barrel, too. That would be cool to paint it look like wood. Make a wood pumpkin because it, it looked like a looked like it had planks. Even though it was the sides are rounded down, but it looked like planks down the side. Now I'm going to have to go back and get the cheese balls. <laughs> You're an enabler. I'm enabling y'all the pub mix in the real container. Yes, it comes in uh, that it comes in like a a tall square container too. I've seen that. Thanks, Nancy and Carla. Thanks, Elizabeth, for watching. Can't wait to see y'all. Post it in the group if you do it, okay? Um, and tomorrow I will be on at 4:45. I'm doing a craft challenge with three other ladies. We are making a craft. Uh, a, a fall scene and so it's kind of like a challenge like we're all gonna nobody knows what each other's doing we just got to make a some kind of fall scene uh, like a mixed media type thing so that's what um and I was like oh I'll just do this again that I did that the pumpkins I wish I could because now I've already done it but I'm gonna do something else I've got something else in mind that I'm gonna do so yeah you have a good weekend too Tammy all right guys I will catch y'all later. I'll be on at 4.45 tomorrow. It starts at 4. I'm the second crafter. So it starts at 4. And I'll post on my page again um, the first crafter. And then y'all can follow all the crafters. So I'll post it again so y'all can watch. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Y'all see what I got going on tomorrow. Alright guys. I'll catch y'all later. I can't wait to see your pumpkins. Bye guys. Good night. Be safe. See you tomorrow.